Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Exhausted. Exhausted. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> you look like you want to sleep, Israel. Yeah, thank God it's Friday. True, TGIF. Gilberto, hello. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Welcome. Hello, Rodrigo. Hello, teacher. How are you feeling this Friday? Friday night. Very tired, teacher. I am. I. I'm. Come. I'm arriving from the work right now. Oh. I see. Uh, How was traffic today? Horrible. Take me about two hours, 30 minutes to come here because I I went uh, went out from the office at five o'clock. Mm -hmm. And in a, a few minutes I arrived here. Wow. Yeah, I imagine today I think they were very, going to close the Very street. complicated. Mm-hmm. True. Okay, we have more people here. Hello, Roberto. Are you going to be a listener today? I see you have it there. I don't know if you... Roberto? Or who was speaking? I don't know. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Roberto. Uh, I have a problem with my audio. Um, for the reason I am a listener today, but I am I am be be attend to the to the class, and okay. I, I am working at the platform. Thanks, teacher. Okay, good. Um, Danny, hello. We also have Lady Rebecca. Good evening, Welcome teacher. Back. Good evening. Let's see, Andres. Hello, you're gonna be a listener also. Let me check. Yes, you're driving. Okay. Uh, Julio. Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Lady, how are you feeling today, lady? Are you feeling better? Yes, teacher, I am better. Okay. Thank you for asking. Okay. Let's hope you continue to get better and better. Thank you. Okay, well, um, let's start, everybody. Actually, I wanted to... Uh, now that Roberto mentioned it, well, not because Roberto mentioned it, but I had already planned to do this. Uh, just to to check with you guys uh, before we we start uh, how we're doing with the platform. Remember that today is Friday and every end of the week we need to make sure we are uh, progressing right that we that we um have everything as expected okay so well let's go over the the activities that we have for this week this is the first one can you see my screen yes okay uh, so this is the first one uh, from the from our first lesson. Okay. And Sorry the... to ask you, teacher. I maybe yes? I I don't stay. Uh, uh, now we're going to enter to the platform, or we need to already done the 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 homeworks. Uh, maybe oh. you can. 
No, no. Right now, I'm just like making a a tour. Ah. Of the activities. Uh huh. Ah, okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Just so you. But but at, but at this moment, eh, we need to have some homework. The did it or or what? May, yes, because, that's, that's what ah, I okay. was telling you that because today is Friday, right? Uh, we mm -hmm. need to make sure that we are um, that we have done uh, the mm -hmm. activities for this week. Mm -hmm. So ah, this is okay. yes. So this is the first one, right? About the concepts that we checked the the life cycle of a product. So we just need to choose, right? Uh, then we have the second one. This is related to the vocabulary. Remember, we have some vocabulary that we check together. So you have the definition and you need to, to choose, right? And uh, the third one, uh, this is related to, um, well, this is about organizing the words. Remember, we had a, an activity like that in the, in the textbook. In the manual, there wasn't a, a similar activity, right? Uh, about the use of would rather. Okay, so um, and actually, I don't know if it's the same. I think it's the same exercise. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, um. If you paid attention to when we develop this exercise in class, then you have the answers already. Um, okay, and the next one is, this is about yesterday's uh, class related to, well, yesterday and today, because today we're going to finish this part. Yesterday, we only started talking about quantifiers, remember? almost at the end of the class. So we're going to finish today. Okay, so this is about quantifiers. You need to choose which one goes in the sentence, right? There aren't very, a few, very little, very much, very many, or very few, right? So we need to choose. And um, the one that corresponds to today's lesson, is this one. Um, this would be the last one for this week. Um, read the following meanings and match them to the correct word. Okay, we have some vocabulary that we will check today. Okay, this is the vocabulary from today's lesson. So we have the definition and you need to choose which word is defined, okay? So these are the, the assignments. Do we have any question? No? No, teacher. Okay. No. Thank you. Teacher. Oh, yes? <clears throat> the... Um, La tarea tres a mí no me da. Uh, this one? Three. This one? Three. Uh, one. One. No, no, no. No. This is the first one? No. <laughs> this one? Yes. The number four. One and number five. Mm. Let's see. Order the words to create sentences. The creative team would rather ask the manager to design a relaunch of the product. Is that how you did it? The creative team would rather ask. Oh, sorry. The manager would rather ask the creative team 
to design a relaunch of the product? Yeah, you, I... Did you start with the manager? Um, no. Okay, I'm going to... Lo intenté de, uh, cambiando de manager. A good writer as y, y de, de, no me dio. Luego lo intenté. The crack the team, the manager, o the crack team, good writer, the manager, y no <laughs> lo he cambiado varias veces y no me da. Mm. Lo he intentado con mayúsculas, sin mayúsculas, con puntos, sin puntos. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, let's see. This is the correct way. This this should be the correct way, okay? Listen to, or you can take notes as well. Um, the manager would rather ask the creative team to design a relaunch of the product. Okay. Now, if the platform is giving you an error, I I would I would say that is something from the platform that is mis mis um I don't know misconfigured or something. Uh so that is something you need we need to report, right? Because that's the correct answer. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. So if you if you do it and it's wrong, uh send send a screenshot to the to the group so that um the our technical support uh, team can help us check what is going on with that exercise okay remember <clears throat> that platforms they need to be programmed with a certain uh, correct uh, information right so if if they are not programmed with the correct information, even when you do it correctly, it will mark it wrong. So I think it, okay, should, it should be something like that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Well, anything else about the platform? Uh, the, this, this, uh, if, well, this suggestion that I just gave Leticia mm -hmm. uh, is for everybody, okay? Whenever you see that you are doing the correct, I'm, I'm sure this is not the first time it has happened, right? Um, so whenever you're doing an exercise and you are doing it correctly, but the platform is marking it wrong, uh, I suggest you to send it to the, the group, the chat, and ask the technical support people to help you out. Um, you can, well, Whenever you send it, I check it, and if it's right, then it's the platform. But then maybe it could be a little mistake, a spelling, a mistake, or something that we can correct, right? So it could be one or the other. One, either you are wrong or the platform is wrong, <laughs> okay? Um, well, if we don't have anything else on the platform, guys, we're going to start sharing our uh, sentences that we have for the practice. So let's see. Um, some of you have sent it to the chat. I see Rodrigo has sent it to the chat and also Gilberto, okay? Uh, the rest of you, can you please share it here in the in the Zoom chat? I'm just going to remind you of what the homework was. It says, for tomorrow, think of three count and three non-count nouns. Write a sentence for each using one of the quantifiers. Okay? So three count nouns and three non-count nouns. And I'm going to, in the meantime, while you are sharing your sentences in the chat, I'm going to read the ones from Gilberto and Rodrigo here in the WhatsApp so I can give you feedback, okay? So Gilberto says, I have some time today. Good, correct, Gilberto. Um, 
Second, he needs much a glass of a glass water. Mm, in this case, um, I'm not sure. Let's see. He needs much a glass of water. Mm. Probably, Gilberto, in this case, we don't need the glass, the, the, the expression or the phrase a glass. You can say he needs much water. Okay. Much water. Okay. Yes. The thing is that with glass, you are making it countable because we have these expressions that can make non-countable nouns countable like in this case we say a glass of water pero el ejercicio Gosh. aquí es solamente eh, que vamos a trabajar eh, con el sustantivo contable o no contable y le vamos a agregar el, el quantifier ok que son los que tenemos aquí en la en, el, en la lección En este caso, a, perdón, en este caso, a glass of no aplica. Entonces sería, he needs much water. Only that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's check the other one. We work a lot on Saturday in the company. This is correct, eh, Gilberto, but in this case, mm, I would change it a little bit lo cambiaría de manera que estemos practicando tal cual eh, lo tenemos en el, en el en la lección. En este caso podríamos hacerlo así. Eh, we have a lot of work on Saturday in the company. O podemos iniciar con on Saturday, tendría como más coherencia. On Saturday... We have a lot of work in the company. Okay, teacher. Está correcta a la manera como está ahorita, solo que para darle como el, el, esta, el, el, el uso, ¿verdad? A la expresión sería a lot of, a lot of. We have a lot of work. Mm -hmm. A lot of work. Okay, next. How many days need for give me my car? Mm -hmm. In this case, this is a question. So what we need here is some auxiliary. Okay, so we say, how many days do you need to give me back my car? Para regresarme, Laura. To give me back. So how many days do you need to give me back my car? Aquí supongo que es como una pregunta que yo le haría a un, a, a un mecánico, ¿verdad? Como para que me lo está reparando. Sí. Yes. Uh -huh. Right? Sí. Yes. Okay. Right. Uh -huh. So, in, the, in this case, Gilberto, your, your option is correct. Many days. Many days. Because you are using a countable noun, days, and you use, you use it with many. So, correct. Ahí está bien el quantifier y el, y el noun. Next, I'm going to do some exercise tomorrow. Perfect. This is great. Next, I need a few the money for buy the tablet. Okay. Here, Gilberto, remember that money is non-countable. Okay. La palabra tal cual money no es countable. Okay. Entonces, aquí, ¿qué podríamos usar en vez de a few? A few. Uh -huh. Cambiemos a few por lo que usemos en non-count. No count. Uh -huh. A ver, eh, ¿qué le ayuda a Gilberto? A lot of, a lot of. Eh, no, pero él está usando el a few. ¿Cuál es el equivalente de a few para non-countable nouns? Few. A little. A little. Teacher. Little. Very good. Thank you, Danny. So we would say, I need a little money. I need a little money to buy the tablet. To buy the tablet. 
Okay. Right. Okay. Well, thank you, Gilberto. And now we check Rodrigo's examples. Okay, we have, I will take some time to do the work. Very good. Yes, some. He's using some with time. Remember that some can be used for both, right? Countable and non-countable. Next, there are a lot of people. Aquí sería in the mall, in the mall. But the quantifier and the noun is correct. Okay, we have a lot of, and then you have the name, the noun people. Okay, and remember that a lot of is used for both. Vamos a proyectar el here. Okay, a lot of is for both non count and count. Ahí los tenemos. Next. A plenty of money are in the vault, in the vault. Okay, in this case, Rodrigo, eh, with the, the expression plenty of, we don't need a, okay? Solo decimos plenty of money. Or in this case, actually, we need to use the expression there is, okay? There is plenty of money in the vault, like that. Because money okay. is okay, non-countable, non okay? So we use is. There is. Es como singular, okay? There is plenty of money in the vault. Okay? Okay. And next, Elizabeth has many oranges in her basket. Perfect. Uh -huh. We have many and oranges is countable now. So, yes, it it matches. Next, there are some cats in that street. Okay, some and cats is correct. Just change the um, on by in, in that street. Um, let's see. Next, you have few minutes to take a nap. You have few minutes to take a nap. We could say, in this case, we just miss the a. Ah. You have a few, a few minutes to take a nap. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Let's see. We have another set of examples here from, from Israel. Okay. I have plenty of time to play video games. Very good. My brother has a lot of time to do his chores. Yes, correct. There are plenty of dogs outside, correct. Uh, so notice that usually plenty of is used with this expression. There are, there is, there are. Mm -hmm. Or also when you say, for example, I have plenty of um, work this weekend. I have plenty of work this weekend. So you can use it with the verb have as well. Okay, then you, we have, I need a few hours driving to get, to get, okay, to get to my destination. I need a few hours driving to get to. Next, when I am going to the beach, I saw a lot of coconuts. Okay, in this case, uh, Israel, I will just change the, well, you can change this one, the, the I'm for the past because so that it matches both ideas. When I was going to the beach, I saw in the past, right? Both are in the past. I saw a lot of coconuts. Um, next, how many... Okay, but in this case, the quantifier and the noun are correct. How many years could take to understand a new language? Ah, this is a good question. <laughs> okay, how many years? Okay, here we, we need the, because you're asking a question, you need the, the, the subject, okay? How many years could it take to understand a new language? How many years could it take 
to understand a new language. Okay, and Israel is using many with years, which is correct, okay? Because you can say one year, two years, three years, etc. So it's countable. Okay, so these are the exercises, well, the examples that uh, you guys have so far. So um, that's those are the ones we're going to check, okay? Great. Do we have any question based on the examples from your classmates and my explanations? Do we have any question about the quantifiers? No? Oh, I see Leticia's examples are here. Okay, in the meantime, I'm going to um, pass the attendance because yesterday I forgot and it was kind of late when I passed it for the first time. So let's see. Let's see. Okay, just give me a second because I didn't have it open. Teacher, yes, I have some issues in the 1.5 homework. I will uh, put it in the WhatsApp because I don't understand why it takes me as a fail. Okay, okay, yes, share the screenshot, please. Okay, so let's see, Danny, Anton Danny Anthony, si buena aventura. Present teacher. Gilberto Benito Santa Maria Rios. Present teacher. Eh, Jose Andrés Martinez Perez. He's a listener, I think. Let's, let me check, check, check. Yes. Okay. Um, Jose Israel Martinez Rodriguez. Present teacher. Julio Aristides Paz Rivas. Present teacher. Eh, Lady Joana F Hernández Ventura. Present teacher. Luis Rodrigo Morales Ortiz. Present teacher. María Leticia Realejeño González. As a listener, I think. Let me see, Leticia. Where are you, Leticia? I don't see you. Well, she's not here right now. Mauricio de Jesús Buruca Velázquez. Yes, teacher, present. Eh, Rebeca María Cardona Juárez. Presente, teacher. Presente. Eh, Roberto Carlos Gámez Alvarenga. Present, teacher. Eh, Rolando Danilo Sánchez Arteaga. Present teacher. Ah, I thought you were not here. Sofía Karina Crespo Rami, perdón, Martínez. Sofía, I see you there. Can you say present, please? Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Yesenia Gabriela Aguilar Granadeño. Yesenia is not here today. Okay, um, so let me just check quickly. Eh, well, let me see. Leticia, okay, I'm going to check really quickly these ones that we have in the chat because we need to continue with uh, a different activity. Uh, maybe in the meantime, just so we um, we take advantage of time, uh, while I am giving feedback to your classmates uh, who have shared their examples, guys, you can advance working on exercise six from, okay, wait, wait, I'm gonna share the screen. Oops, here. 
Okay, so please, let's start working on the activity number six. Identify and correct three mistakes related to the use of quantifiers in the statements below. Okay, so three of these sentences have a mistake. Okay, so let's try to find the mistakes. And right now, I'm going to give feedback to Rebecca and Le Rebecca and Leticia. Okay, so, okay, so Leticia, I will take a, re a long vacation. <coughs> well, in this case, Leticia, you are not using, in the first example, you are not using any quantifier. Next, mm -hmm. there is a lot, there is a lot to buy for Christmas. Mm. Yes, it's correct. I mean, number one and number two are correct. In number two, you're using a lot, which is also a quantifier, but I need you to use the ones we have here. In this case, it's a lot of. So in number two, for example, you can say, eh, I need to buy a lot of presents for Christmas, okay? just so you can use this structure. You have the quantifier and the noun, okay? Because we are practicing with quantifier and noun. So I have to buy a lot of presents for Christmas. Number three, there is a lot of time to work. Okay, this is great. Next, mom has many beautiful memories. Okay, very good. Many and memories. Good. There are many places to visit. Okay, many and places. Yes, correct. Okay, Rebecca, eh, I want to travel to many countries. Okay, great. She, in this case, it would be, she has eaten some grapes today. Three, can you give me a few minutes, please? Mm hmm very good. Today was a little stressful. Okay, in this case, uh, the, the example is correct, Rebecca, but we are not using it with a noun. In this case, stressful is an adjective. So in order to use it with a noun for practicing this, this structure, remember the quantifier plus the noun, we can say, um, well, actually, we need to uh, we need to use it in a different sentence. Okay, I don't know. For example, we can say, um, "Let me see." Um, I have a little. It's not that coherent, but it could be. I have a little stress today. I have a little stress. When you say stress is the noun, the stressful is the adjective, okay? Okay, teacher. Uh, let's see, I will not join you tomorrow because I have no time, very good. In this case, just uh, the two is extra. I will, I will not join you, okay? You don't need two. I will not join you tomorrow because I have no time. I have a great deal of work for the next week. Perfect, great. Okay. Um, Rodrigo, are these your, I I'm not sure what you mean here. Are these the answers? And they, I, there are the answers that I put in the homework, but it 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 says uh, incorrect. incorrect. Which ones are incorrect? According to I only the, have I only have correct the uh, the first and the ultimate, the fifth. Ah, okay. So ah, oh, no, so sorry. The 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 first and fourth. Okay, so two, three, and five are incorrect according to the platform. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Many distributors would rather match 
sell our product at a, low, at a lower price. Okay, try using, um, I don't know if you, if you did. Can you try using many distributors would much rather sell our product at a lower price? Uh, can we can we switch the order of every cent the word? The thing because is I that... take literally the uh, every part of the of the sentence and I well copy and, and make the, the, the sentence. Yes, I, I understand, uh, Rodrigo, and, mm -hmm. and you are right. But, um, well, yes, this is something we discussed, remember, in class. Uh, mm -hmm. But here, in the in the example, as you notice, it's in the middle, right? So mm -hmm. let's, try it, let's try it that way. Um, and Much rather, mm -hmm. the inverse. Much rather, yes. Let, let me check. And also, let's see, number three, they Not would rather sure. withdraw the product in new markets. Yes, it is correct. Uh, much rather. Ah, okay, okay. So, mm -hmm. everybody, much rather. Would much rather, okay? Would much rather. Por eso salía mala Leticia también, ¿verdad? La misma que nos reportó. Okay, uh, next. Ah, no, la primera fue la que nos reportó ella. Bueno, okay. uh -huh. let me see the number three. They would rather withdraw the product in new markets. Mm. Here we, in your case, Rodrigo, I see you missed the, this part. O veamos si no está ahí en el... Veamos, permítame, permítame. Ah... Uh... Um, they would rather withdraw the withdraw. This is number two, right? Yeah, I think uh -huh, you're right. I, I have left. Oh, something. yes, in number three. I have yeah, done introduce it. it. Yes. Mm -hmm. They would rather withdraw. So it would be they would rather withdraw the product mm -hmm. than. Then, uh huh, then, then yes. introduce. Okay, guys, the... if you have not done this exercise, please pay attention, take notes so that you have. Yes, it is correct. I have left the done introduce it. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. And number five. Number five. Many more companies would rather become the low cost provider of a product with great caution about world prices. Um, ah, in this case, we we are missing the as a premium option. Let me see. No, no, sorry. That is number four. Number five. Many more companies would rather become the low cost provider of a product Mm, with great caution about war prices. Okay. Let me see. I am I'm trying to remember how we did it in class. Okay. Let me see. Many more companies. would rather become okay the low cost provider of a product would rather become no it doesn't make sense if you start with the low cost provider. also i inverse a uh, with great caution about world prices switch with the a uh, low low cost provider of the product but it doesn't Okay, maybe if we start with with great caution about work prices, many more companies would rather become the low cost provider right. of a product. So we can start with this phrase. Can you try that way? 
with great caution about word prices mm -hmm. because you sh sometimes you can use it like an introduction to the to the sentence many, with great caution. many more companies would rather become the low cost provider mm -hmm. actually you need, you need a comma after prices you need a comma because you make a little pause with great caution about work prices, comma, many more companies would rather become the low cost provider of a product. Let me Make see. It makes sense that way. No, no. With <laughs> great caution, let me see. With great caution about work prices, comma, many more companies would rather become the low cost provider. provider of a product, mm -hmm. uh, but no, no. Oh. And let, let me check without the comma. Yes, because this is the no, way. No, I... neither without the comma. Mm -hmm, but we don't have many options. So yes, I will say this is a technical issue rather than a grammatical issue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe you could check the, with, I don't know, someone of the platform, something. Yes. Uh, so let me see. We said that number two. Okay. I think so far the only one is number five, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, I'm going to send them a message later because right now we need to continue, but thank you for sharing uh, the issues. We're going to, okay. I'm going to send okay, the message later on. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, um, let's move on to our exercise here in, in our manual. Uh, so I ask you to, go over the, the sentences and see what the mistakes are, right? So did you find the mistakes? Okay, let me see. Um, number one, let me check who is here. Let's see. Danny, can you read number one, please? Okay, teacher. Uh, Dana projected the new product will not attract much customer. Okay, Dana projected the new product will not attract much customers. Okay, is everything correct in that sentence, Danny, or is there a mistake? Uh, is uh, in, incorrect, teacher. It's incorrect. Why? Yes. Mm -hmm. It's a mistake. mistake. What is the it mistake? Is mistake. Uh, it's number one. Yes. Uh, but... uh, it's um, customer is... Uh, a, a account. Okay, it's account noun, yes. Mm -hmm. So what do we use? Instead of much, we use which quantifier? Uh, is uh, yeah, well, much? Much. Uh -huh. It's a money. Money. Many, many. Mm -hmm. Many, many, many yes. customers. Okay, very good. So the mistake is here, right? We are using match with customers, which is a count noun. So we need to change match for many, many customers. Okay, very good. Um, let's see, Gilberto, can you do number two, please? Can you read it and then Tell us if there is a mistake. Okay. 
it is necessary to revise some in the components and the marketing strategy. Aha. Is there a mistake or is it correct, Gilberto? Uh, it is necessary. No mistake. No mistake. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're no. right. There is no mistake. Because we are using some oh. and components, right? And if you notice here, some we use it for non countable and also for countable. So, yes, it is correct. Some of the components. Okay, let's see number three. Let's let's ask a lady. Uh, Rebecca, can you do number three, please? Okay. Before sales decline, it is essential that we implement a great deal of modifications. Okay, a great deal of modifications. Okay, according to our our chart here. Is it correct or incorrect? I think is incorrect. Okay. Because mm -hmm. at least I think we can count modifications. modifications. Uh -huh. Yes, modification is a countable noun. Uh -huh. And this expression, this quantifier, a great deal of is only for non-countable, okay? We don't use it for countable. Okay, so this is our second mistake, right? We have a mistake in number one and we have a mistake in number three. What can you use instead of a great deal of? ¿Qué podemos usar aquí? Uh, I think many. Modifications. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Some modifications or many modifications. Yes. Ajá. Como la expresión a great deal of una cantidad a lot Hello. Hello, teacher. A lot of modifications. Okay, yes. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Okay. Uh, I don't know if Sofia is participating. Let me see. Are you participating? Yes, teacher. Okay. Primero, que para él, de la rivalidad entre los competidores, la amenaza de entrada de los competidores. Yes. La tercera, eh, Many of our customers have expressed satisfaction with the product. Okay. Okay. Is it correct for you? Yes, satisfaction is uncontinued. But in this case, we are using it with customers. Plenty of customers is plenty of customers is countable. Customers are countable. Exactly. Thank it's you. a mistake. Mm, actually, no, no, Sophia, because we use it for both. See, we have plenty of. Uh, yes, yes. Of course. Plenty yeah. of. Mm -hmm. So yes. no, no mistake here. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Let's see, um, Rolando. Let's do number five. Okay, a little com competitor had established long price for products similar to ours. Mm -hmm. Is it correct, Rolando, or incorrect? Uh, competitors. Oh, uh, for me, it's incorrect. Competitor is a uh, quantity. It's countable. It's countable. Mm -hmm. Count nouns. Countable. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. 
So we should use what? A few. Perfect. Yes, you're right. A few competitors have established low prices for products similar to ours. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, number six. Let me see. Mauricio, can you do number six, please? Yes, teacher. Number six. Mm -hmm. Supermarkets have placed many orders of green tortillas this week. Mm -hmm. I think there is no mistake. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because many orders is countable. Excellent. Yes, that's right. We have many and we have orders, right? Orders is countable, so that's correct. Okay. okay. Now, after this exercise, do we have any doubt, any question about the way we use quantifiers with nouns? No? Okay, uh, just for those who shared your examples, um, recuerden que la estructura que estábamos trabajando aquí era así. Necesitábamos tener un quantifier y a la par tenía que ir un sustantivo, ya sea countable o non-countable, porque eso es lo que define cuál usamos. Si usamos, por ejemplo, a little or a few. Okay, <coughs> or many. Okay, so that that was the purpose of the extra practice uh, that I gave you yesterday. Okay, guys, now we have a vocabulary exercise. Okay, and in this case, we have a um, well, we're going to check is some causes that generate the decline of a product. Remember that we have been talking about different uh, la, uh, stages of the product life cycle. And uh, in order to learn a little bit more about the decline stage, we need to check this vocabulary, okay? The causes that generate the decline of a product. So we have the causes. We have number one, for example, obsolescence. Obsolescence. Number two, demand downturn. Number three, changes in customer preference. Number four, global competition. Okay. Uh, and we need to match. Match them with the corresponding uh, definition. Okay, we have the definitions. I'm reading the, the all the text just so you catch the pronunciation because some words seem a little difficult. For example, obsolescence, it may be difficult. Okay, so I'm going to, um, well, I'm going to ask you actually to read it with me. So um, let's see, Rodrigo, let's, let's read the first one, please. The first definition. Uh, read it. Yes, just read ah, it. Okay. The presence of innovate products or service cause uh, cause customers to change their tastes and preferences. Okay, thank you. Uh let's see. Um lady, can you read the second one, please? Lady, are you participating? Yes, teacher. Oh, great, Andres. Thank you. Okay, go ahead. Lady? Hello, the... Uh... The second one. Read, please. Only read it. 
a significant decline in the con competitiveness or value of the product usually because a more innovati innovative or a cheaper one is available. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, Andres, do the number three, please. Okay, teacher. International comp competing companies may offer better products at cheaper prices and with better distribution, which might cause the decline of locally manufactured products. Okay, great. And the last one, let's ask Julio. Julio, can you read the last one, please? Yes, teacher. Um, a reduction of customers uh, of customers' interest uh, in buying a product or service. Okay, great. Now, before we get into the exercise, uh, um, let's just practice some pronunciation of some words here. For example, obsolescence. Let's practice obsolescence. Um, demand, demand. Downturn, downturn. Um, let's see what else. Um, competitiveness, competitiveness. Usually, usually. Um, this one is competing. Competing. Um, this one is locally, locally. And well, that's it. Okay, now I'm going to give you a few minutes. Let's say, how about two minutes? Because like there's some flash. So let's take two minutes to uh, develop the exercise what do you need to do you need to write uh, you need to write the number for example if you think that the presence of innovative products or services cause customers to change their tastes and preferences that is number one you can type here number one okay and so on so the number let's type the number Okay, so we have two minutes starting now.
Okay, our timer is telling us time is over. Okay, did you finish? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Okay, so Rodrigo, let's start with you. Um, okay, the first one, the presence of innovative products of, or services cause customers to change their tastes and preferences. Uh, it is the number three, changes, change in customer preference. Okay, changes in customer preference. Mm -hmm. mm, okay, okay. I'm going to annotate it. So you think it's number three. Okay. I need to go where. here number three okay let's see um mauricio what do you think about number the second one a significant mm -hmm. decline yes when a significant decline in the competitiveness or value of a product usually because a more innovative or a cheaper one is available. Uh, maybe the teacher is the number one obsolescence. Okay, you think it's number one? Okay. Now let's see the next one will be for um Sophia International Competing Companies Hey son uh, number 4 Okay, global competition. And we have the last one, a reduction of customers' interest in buying a product or service. Would that be number two? Well, that is the only one we have left, but let's now check if all of them are correct. Okay, so let's see the first one. Does everybody have number three or is there someone who has a different one? Mm -hmm. Todos la tienen as number three? Yes, teacher, this is a correct. It's correct. Yes. It's correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Teacher. Uh huh. The meaning of demand downturn. Downturn. What is the meaning of the demand downturn? Okay, that is actually what we are checking here, right? Demand downturn. In this case, is basically the um a reduction of the demand. Okay, a decrease. Let's say a decrease of the demand or a mm -hmm. basically yes when people are not uh, exactly interested in the product mm -hmm. so it would be the number two as as somebody said i read no actually this was the last one nadie la contestó sino que nos quedó ahí okay a reduction of customers' interest in buying a product or service. Because remember, the demand is like when everybody wants to buy this product, right? Everybody demands it, right? So when we talk about downturn, it means that it goes 
down. It decreases. Down means decrease or decline, right? So, no, it's number two. It's correct. Okay. Now, let's check number one. Significant decline in the competitiveness or value of a product, usually because a more innovative or a cheaper one is available. Mm -hmm. When something is obsolete, obsolete it's because either, um, for example, some of you talked about the, the BlackBerry, remember the BlackBerry cell phone? You said that the keyboard and there were so many other things that were not so convenient as the new smartphones, right? So in this case, what happened to the, to the BlackBerry was that it became obsolete or a, in other words, the cost for the decline of this product was obsolescence, right? Obsolescence. So yes, it's number one, okay? And number four, international competing companies may offer better products at cheaper prices. Of course, it's global competition, right? Global competition. Like in this case, for example, um, Amazon, right? Although Amazon doesn't create products, but they are distributors, right? Or the Shein, Shein company is also a very huge, huge company, which by the way, is not environmentally friendly. It's one of the most, most contaminating companies nowadays. So don't buy Shein, please. <laughs> Anyways, um, so everybody was correct. Congratulations. I don't know if there is still any question about the definitions or are we clear? Are we clear? Give me a thumbs up, please. Yes, teacher, Just to check that you... Thank you. Just to check that you are not asleep right now, please give me a thumbs up. If it's clear to you, <laughs> Thumbs up. <laughs> oh, I got a heart. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Danny. Thank you, thank you. Ya me siento como una TikToker. Dele tap tap a la pantalla. Okay? <laughs> if you are not asleep. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, so now that we have checked this vocabulary, we have a, um, okay, let's move on to our next part of the lesson, which is actually related to this vocabulary that we just checked, okay? Um, so in this case, uh, we have, the lesson is focused on vocabulary and we have some expressions here. Okay, so let me read the instructions and let's see what it is about. Okay, building vocabulary. The following are strategies to handle the decline stage of a product. Go online and find out more information about each of them. Okay, so remember in the previous exercise, we checked the definitions for causes of the decline of a product. And in this article, we're going to check strategies to handle the decline stage of a product, okay? So, um, well, first guys, before doing the reading comprehension activity, we're going to practice reading aloud, okay? So I'm going to read each paragraph, like to model the pronunciation, and then I'm going to ask some of you to help me read it, okay? Since we are a many, 
many for the paragraph for the article because it's short. I'm going to ask two of you to read the paragraph. Like for example, a, someone is going to read this part, somebody else is going to read the second part, and so on. Okay. So let's start with um, our first paragraph. This is a, an Okay, the instruction says, read an excerpt about the decline of Apple's iPod. Who had an iPod? Did you ever have an iPod? Raise your hand. Andres, yes, okay. Who else? Who else had an iPod? Danny, yes, okay. Okay, Andres and Danny have iPods. Only Andres and Danny. Okay. I didn't have an, iP an Apple iPod. I'm gonna tell you a little anecdote about, about Apple products <laughs> and, and me. Uh, when I, let me see, that was 2000, oh my gosh. Teacher, right now, anyone? Or any people buy a iPod because of course there are a lot of um, Italian smartphones. So there is that they have a lot of memory for we can develop download different kind of music. Yes, that's true. That's true. Um, the but well, I was gonna say that in my case. The only iPhone I got was like, let me see, the, it was the iPhone 4 in 2000, let me see, 2009. Uh, I got it when I was in the US studying. And if you were a student, uh, you could buy it with your university student ID with a discount. So I was very happy with my iPhone. And when I came to El Salvador, because I came back in 2009, uh, around August 2009, um, my boyfriend told me, okay, I, can, I, I want to buy your iPhone. And he bought it from me. And because he was traveling by bus, <laughs> it was, I think it was the first or the second day that he got robbed in the bus and they, they stole his his um iPhone. So Damn. that's that was the end of my only iPhone, the only iPhone I have had in my life. <laughs> Somebody stole it. So well, anyways, that's a little story. Um now let's see. I'm going to read the first paragraph. So pay attention to the to the pronunciation, please. Okay, we start. 12 years and 26 devices later, the generation defining iPod range looks like it's about to fade into history without so much as a whimper. I think all of us have known for some time that iPod is a declining business, said Apple boss Tim Cook in 2014 discussing the company's latest earnings report. He announced massive profits as ever, but noted that iPod sales had dipped 52% down on this time in 2013, with further drops expect expected. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna take a volunteer for the first part of this paragraph. This is the first part. Andres, go ahead. Yes, it's am sorry. Mm -hmm. The first part. Yes, only this part that is highlighted. Okay. 12 years and 1226 device later, the generation defining iPod range looks like it's about to fade into history without so much as a whimper. Okay, perfect. Volunteer for the second part. Mauricio, go ahead, the second part. 
Ok, teacher. I think all of, all of us have now to some time that Apple is a declining business. Say Apple bus Tim Cook and 2014 discussing the company's latest earnings report. He announced massive police profits mm -hmm. as ever, but not you that Apple sales have deeper. 52% down this time in 2015, with further drops expected. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's see here. We I'm just going to ask you to practice a few words. Uh, for example, in this case, let me see. Ever. As ever. Ever. Sure. Okay, and let's see. Farther, farther, farther. Okay, great. Thank you, Mauricio. Okay, now I'm going to read the, the second paragraph. And again, let's pay attention to the pronunciation. The iPod had been nervously looking over its shoulder for some time. When the iPhone was launched in 2007, Steve Jobs joked that it was the best iPod we, we've ever made. And he was right. With its apps and other smartness, the iPhone meant there was no longer any need to own an iPod as a separate device, so long as you could afford it. Apple wasn't afraid to create a product that would disrupt a successful existing business. Apple thought, if we don't do something, someone else will. Okay, let's see. We're going to read. In this case, we're going to do three participations, okay? This is the first participation, so volunteer, please. Me, teacher. Julio, go ahead. Okay. Um, the iPod and the iPod have been nervously looking uh, over its shoulder for some time. Uh, when the iPhone was launched in uh, 2007, Steve Jobs joked uh, that it was uh, the best iPod we've ever made. Made. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Let's do the next one. Okay, give me. Okay, who's gonna do the next one? Let's see. Um, lady, okay, lady. And he was right. With his apps and other smartness, the iPhone meant there was no longer any need to own an iPod as a separated device, so long as you could afford it. Excellent, thank you. Okay, I see Rebecca is on the line, thank you. Who else is here, let me see. Okay, Re yes, Rebecca, you're next, but just let me have lady practice one or two words. Um, let's see, separate, let's practice separate. Separate. Mm -hmm. And also try to, in the last, let's practice with the last phrase. Is, okay, afford it. Afford it. Afford it. Mm -hmm. Afford it. Uh, the tip that I gave you a few, well, two classes ago, like when you need, you can join the sounds, right? So in this case, this is an example, afford it. Okay, great. Rebecca, let's finish this paragraph, please. Apple wasn't afraid to create a product that would disrupt a successful, exciting, existing business. Apple thought, if we don't do something, someone else will. 
Okay, thank you. Well, in this case, um, Rebecca, we can practice the word successful. Success. Su successful. Great. Mm -hmm. The stress is in test. Successful. Successful. Okay, let's move on to the next paragraph. I'm going to read it. And then here we're going to have two people participate. Okay, and even today, despite that dramatic 52% fall, the iPod range still generates big revenues. 1973 million of dollars. But 1973, sorry, 900, oh my gosh, 973 million out of million dollars out of Apple's total revenues is just a minor sideline or as technology news web well, as, as technology news site The Verge put it a hobby which leads most people in the know to predict that while Apple may not discontinue the iPod in the very near future we're unlikely to see any kind of significant update of the devices. Okay, I don't know which year this book was made, <laughs> but I guess right now, does the iPod exist? No, right? I don't know much about Apple products. As I told you, I haven't, I haven't had an iPhone in like more than 10 years, so. When did iPods disappear? Do you know? ¿Alguien sabe cuándo desaparecieron los iPods? No. Aquí dice que no han desaparecido todavía, pero no sé de qué año es este libro, así que... Maybe the iPod, iPod Shuffle or Nano, maybe. Ah, okay. I think that was the lightest. I uh -huh. think teacher that small stores right now in this time sells some device like iPod in this time or in this year. So right mm -hmm. now we can find it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, let's see. Who's going to read the first part of this paragraph? Do we have a volunteer? Mm, I don't see any volunteer. Let's see, Danny. Can you do it, the first part? Okay, teacher. Okay, and even today, despite the dramatic 51% fall, the iPod range is still generate big revenue. My seventy three hundred million dollars of Apple total revenues is just a minor sign line, or as technology news say, the budget for it a hobby. Okay, thank you. And the last part will be for Gilberto. Okay, teacher. Which, which leads most people in the nose to predict that while Apple might not be continuing the iPod in the very near future, we're only like to see any kind of significant update of the device. Okay, thank you. Um, okay, let's see. We're going to practice some words here. Uh, let's just start with even, this one, even, and even today, and even today. Okay, then let's continue with despite, despite, despite. Um, let's see this one, revenues, revenues. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm, let's see, let's see. Okay. And then um, from the part 
the last part. Let's continue. Okay, this one. Unlikely. Unlikely. Okay. And the last one, update. Update. Esta U suena como up, up. Update. Update. Okay, okay, great. Now let's get into the, um, well, before we, let's see. Okay, this is a group activity, a, a pair activity. Okay, but before we do the pair activity, um, we have this, um, okay. We have these expressions here, lower prices, repackaging, a discontinuation, innovation, and co-branding. So um, according to the instruction, oops, sorry, permit that. Okay, according to the instruction, we need to um, look for some more information about, about these strategies, right? A strategies to handle the decline stage of a product. Well, I think some of them are a little obvious, right? For example, when we say lower prices, lower prices could be if you're, imagine you have a shoe company. If your shoe prices are within the range of, let's say, 20 to um, 20 to 40 dollars the pair of shoes then if you lower the price what what price do they have it could be i don't know 15 dollars right 15 to 30 the range so in that case you are lowering the price <laughs> So that's the first strategy. What about repackaging? I think it is also a little familiar to anybody, to everybody, sorry. So how would you explain repackaging? Someone, Rodrigo, for example? Uh, repackaging is, uh, well, I think it is when your actual package is damaged or maybe you you uh, improve it or update it, the uh, new package. So you change it to a new one. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You change it to a new one, maybe as you said, well, in this case, maybe it's more about making it more attractive, right? Um, a new image, maybe? Yes, uh -huh, exactly. To, to promote a new image. A, a refreshed image of the product. Um, okay. Next is discontinuation. Discontinuation. Let me see who... Um, Rebecca, how would you explain discontinuation? is a, like um, one of the possible action to take when a product decline. Yes, but what exactly happens in this uh, You You stop to, uh, to produce it? Exactly. Uh -huh. This continuation would be to stop producing it. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see innovation. Julio, what can you tell us about this, this strategy? How would you explain it? Are you there, Julio? Let me see. Yes but maybe not available. Okay, Israel, 
I haven't asked you to participate, Israel. Yep. Okay. Can you tell us how you will explain innovation in in this context to handle mm -hmm. the campaign? Mm -hmm. Well, when you put an item or an object on the market, uh, for example, let me see. Well, you you was you was talking about BlackBerry at that time when it was a, a innovative product. Mm -hmm. It's the same when you you show features that not other items have it. Okay, perfect. Yes, so in this case, it would be probably add something because we're talking about a specific product that is declining, right? So in order to make it attractive for, for the customers, it's not just about repackaging, right? Because remember when we were talking about repackaging, this is about changing the image of the product. But in this case, we're talking about the product itself, right? How we innovate this product. So as Israel said, adding features or characteristics to this product that maybe the competitors don't have, right? For this product. Um, okay. And the last one, we have co-branding. Co-branding. Let's see. Um, Rolando, can you tell us how you would explain co-branding? Hello, Rolando, are you there? Teacher. Uh -huh. Co-branding could be when two companies work together to make or do a product Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. The the prefix co, okay, means cooperation, okay? So yes, definitely. We're talking about a collaboration or cooperation between two or more companies, well, more brands, not companies, but brands, right? Uh, it's like, for example, I don't know, if imagine if the Pilsener beer would be declining if they um, like get together with, I don't know, um, um, what's this one? Corona, with Corona brand, right? So they get together and they collaborate to, to create a, a mix of their beers, kind of. It's just a a silly example, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Two brands cooperating or collaborating to create a product. Mm -hmm. Or in this case, to improve, right? A product, the quality, um, the image, etc. the features. Mm -hmm. Okay, so are we clear on all these strategies? based on the examples, the explanations from your classmates and me? Aha, uh -huh. give me your thumbs up, please. If it's clear, give me your thumbs up. Thank you, Israel. Thumbs up if it's clear. If this if these concepts that we just discussed are clear for you, lower prices, repackaging, discontinuation, innovation, and co-branding. Thank you, Danny. Okay. Well, 
not everybody gave me a thumbs up, but I'm assuming you, you guys are clear. <laughs> so let's move on. Um, okay, is there any word in the in the or any expression in the in the article that is not clear to you guys before we get into the discussion part? I would like you to tell me now. Any unfamiliar words? Any words that you don't know from this article? Teacher, it was the meaning of whimper. Okay, let's see the first line, second line, right? Yes. It says, um, the generation defining Apple range looks like it's about to fade into history without so much as a whimper. Um, in this case, we consider we we can take um like the whole phrase without a whimper or without a whimp. It it's like without any um like any noise or any any relevant i mean like if it disappears nobody will care something like that um in I, let me see if there is a an equivalent in spanish it's like sing I forgot the word in <laughs> I forgot the word in Spanish, but there is a, a phrase too. Como cuando algo alguien se va o algo desaparece sin. No sé si alguien me recuerda la frase. Sin previo aviso. No, no sin previo aviso no. Eh, como sin ruidos. Sí, pero es que hay una frase como. Como que a nadie le importa, básicamente. Uh, uh, but, palabras. Mm, no, not really. Because when... ¿Ah? Como, it doesn't matter. Exactly. Uh -huh, like, it doesn't matter if it disappears. That's the expression in, in general. Mm -hmm. But I forgot the, the, the specific um, phrase. Mm -hmm. Because it, this is like an idiomatic expression, okay? Um, and idiomatic expressions usually have an equivalent in the other language. Like, hay una frase igual de idiomática en el otro idioma. Mm -hmm. But I forgot which one it is in Spanish. But yeah, it's like it doesn't matter. Um, okay, any other? Let's write it here in the in the chat without a whimper. Okay. There you go, you have it in the chat. Okay, what else? Any other? At this point, um, please, I would like you to check like give it a a final read so that you can see if you can find some words that are not familiar to you. Okay. I guess we don't have any other words. Well, 
In this case, we're going to get into the discussion part. So what do we need to do? Let's see. Okay, um, as a group, we're going to identify the strategies that Apple has applied to deal with the imminent decline of the iPod. Where do you find that information? Well, here in the, in the article, right? So identify the strategies Apple has applied to deal with the imminent decline of the iPod. Imminent means that it is real, that it is coming, that you cannot avoid it, okay? Something that it is coming, something that is coming. Okay, and uh, after that, this remember, this is related to the reading. After that, we are going to do these three things. First, choose a national product or service in its decline stage, okay? In its decline stage. Think of something that you think here in El Salvador is declining. It's almost disappearing, okay? And then discuss possible strategies that the manufacturing or distributing company could apply, okay? Which strategies the, um, could the company apply? We have, remember that we checked some of these strategies here, lower prices, repackaging, discontinuation, innovation, and co-branding. These are some strategies. And lastly, what advantages would those strategies bring to the company? So how would they help? If you say, for example, lowering the price, okay, how would lowering the price benefit uh, the company, right? Okay, so now let me make breakout rooms so that we can do this discussion, okay? And... We're gonna make pairs. We have okay, give me a second. I'm going to assign people. Gabriela, can you confirm if you're a listener today? I don't remember. Okay, let's see. Okay, excellent. Well, um, let's take, let me see, around from five to seven minutes, okay? Five to seven minutes to do this discussion. And then we come back to our uh, general room and we share. Okay, I'm going to advise everybody uh, to try to stick to English, okay? Because sometimes when I join your breakout room, you are speaking Spanish. Remember, the idea is we practice our English, okay? So go ahead. We have five to seven minutes.
and not applied a strategy um other other strategy apple apple is was the co-branding it is obligated uh, for the speed dramatic the 51 person okay uh, in the end in the case co-branding Como, uh, we go their company for for example uh, Samsung or okay Apple the product the Apple uh, de fabricación, distribución, uh, we, no. <laughs> this posible strategies that the manufacturing, discuss mm -hmm. possible strategies that the manufacturing, ay no, 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 lo logro ver, <clears throat> ahí está, the manufacturing distribution, no, distribution companies, could apply, And the last one is what advantages would those strategies bring to the company? So if you want, we can choose a, a national yeah. product service. Yeah, of course. Okay, for let you, which of product is declining right now? Mm. For me, mm. I think Boquita Diana. That is possible, yeah. So, yes. snacks of Boquitas Diana. The snacks exactly. of Boquitas Diana. Exactly. Are declining. See, sí. yes. Okay, so we choose right now the snack of Boquitas Diana. Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi, teacher. Hello. How Hello. are you doing? Um, aquí analizando el live porque yo no tuve, no me acuerdo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Julio, what about you? Do you have an iPod? Yeah. Um, Which model? Uh, iPhone Nano. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. It's a little version of the iPhone. Uh -huh. It's small, like a uh, uh, 40, like a uh, uh, three or uh, four centimeters. Centimeters, mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. Which but, which but, year uh, or how long ago? I don't remember. Maybe uh, two thousand uh, sixteen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very functional. Okay. Yeah. Great. Uh -huh. Have you thought about a national product that is in decline? Uh, no. Okay, so think about the a national product here. 
national choose a national product that is in decline stage. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. but, uh, we need to identify the strategies that are ah, I, I thought you were done with that part. <laughs> okay, so yes, that is the first part. Okay. Uh-huh. Yes. It's um not so no not so much work, but it is necessary uh, to to do um uh, an analysis. Mm -hmm. Yes, go ahead. Let's start with that. Thank See you, you later. Thank you. Like a cheaper, like a cheaper option. Cheaper option, okay. Perfect. Bye. Okay. That's the strategy, strategy number one. Yes. Okay. Okay, we are going to do the number two. Okay, which one is the number two? The, the, we, we must do to explain what is the advantage if the company applied this strategy. Okay. In this case, I think they can um, Let me see. <laughs> they can increase their 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 increase. revenue. Okay. es obligación que tengas la línea, uh -huh. la línea fija. O sea, sí o sí el paquete la lleva. ¿Te guste o no el paquete lo lleva? Sí, ya, ya lo hice. Voy a compartir Ajá. pantalla. Ok. Bueno. Hello, teacher. Hello. This is our 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 service in this case. Oh, okay. The home 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 phone line. <laughs> ah, that's a very good example. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because not many people have home phone. No, no. Mm -hmm. A lot of people doesn't have at this time interest to have. Uh, mm -hmm. a phone line yes mm -hmm. that's true but i don't know if you have a have had the experience that in some um places they ask you for a home phone number but you well at this at this at this time it is an optional everybody puts the cell phone yes and maybe true. Uh, mm -hmm. in the in the other or additional or i yeah. don't know mm -hmm. they put the, the office if oh, you yes. have a, a, a office line yes or, mm -hmm. but That's right. now actually it's the cell phone true yes. okay i see that you are almost ready uh i'm going to ask you to go back to the main room because it's almost time to go and I would like to hear at least one of the groups before we leave, okay? So, okay. great. 
See you later. See you. Okay, everybody's back. Well, um, we're going to do this part a little bit fast. So uh, I need every pair who participated. For example, I don't know, let's see Sofia and Rodrigo. One of you, give me a number from one to five, please write it in the chat. Only one, one person, write a number from one to five. And we're going to choose one pair to share your analysis. Number three? Three, no. It's not three. Aha. Uh -huh. Give me a number from one to five, please. Two. Two, no. One. No. <laughs> okay, four or five? Five. Okay, Sofia and Sofia and Rodrigo, right? Yes. Okay, go ahead, guys. Para que vean que no estoy mintiendo, ahí está, eh. Solo que no me lo pude dibujar bien. <laughs> I have number five. Okay, let's listen to Rodrigo and Sofia for their analysis. Can you see what I see? Yes, I see your screen. Well, in our case with Sofia, we talk and we are, uh, we, uh, we coincide, uh, ¿cómo se dice coincidir? Well, in this case, you can say we agreed. We agreed. We agree. Mm -hmm. We agree that the service in the in the client is the home home phone line. Mm -hmm. So because uh, everybody at this time actually have a cell phone, two two phones, or maybe two three chips, to okay, see three sims. So mm -hmm. the home phone line is actually maybe obsolete and okay. also the, the service yes mm -hmm. so uh, i think the the well we think we think the the companies uh, the strategy to mind maintain mm -hmm. uh, this service is to be included uh, in the all-in-one package for residents okay. mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. you would you, uh, actually you pay for internet service maybe the secondary thing is the the, the, the uh, cable service, uh -huh. and then the home phone line. Okay. Uh, with additional benefits like international free calls, or mm -hmm. maybe free 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 calls for other networks of mobile mobile. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Sophia, uh, will finish this. Okay. Okay. Uh... We talk about the, this product mm -hmm. and we agree to, to for this product, uh, the companies maintained an additional and uh, traditional way to communication. Mm -hmm. And uh, in this case, uh, the advantage for the company is uh, maintained the 
technology, the old technology, mm -hmm. uh, in the mind of the customers. Okay. Because it's included in the in the packages, but uh, sometimes the customer maybe uh, think that is obsolete service. Mm -hmm. But if you have uh, the service in your home. Uh, Sometimes you take a, a old cell phone and, and but you have the ordinary uh, device and mm -hmm. you take uh, the, the old phone mm -hmm. to have a, a conversation and waste your minutes in the back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, great. Yes, that was a great analysis, and I like your example as well, that it is a real example of something that is in decline, right? Okay, uh, well, maybe on Monday I will ask uh, oh, maybe two more pairs to participate with this, because I think it's important that you share also with the your class, the your classmates, the analysis. So thank you, guys. Let's give a clap to Sofia and Rodrigo. And um, just before we leave, let me pass the attendance really quickly. Uh, let's see, let's see. Um, okay, here we go. Dani, Anthony, Sigüenza Ventura. Good teacher. Gilberto Benito, Santa Maria Rios. Present teacher. Eh, Jose Andrés Martinez Pérez. I'm here, teacher. <laughs> Jose Israel Martinez Rodriguez. You sound so energetic, Andres. Present, teacher. Okay. Uh, Julio Arisides Paz Rivas. Present, teacher. Uh, Lady Joana Hernandez Ventura. Present. Uh, Luis Rodrigo Morales Ortiz. Here. Eh, María Leticia Realigeño González. Present teacher. Ah, no la veía. Um, ok, Mauricio de Jesús Buruca Velázquez. Yes, teacher, here. Eh, Rebeca María Cardona Juárez. Here, teacher. Ok, let's see. Roberto Carlos Gámez Alvarenga. Present teacher. Eh, Rolando Danilo Sánchez Arteaga. Rolando, ¿qué se nos hizo? Ya no lo veo. Ahorita ya no está. Ok. Sofía Karina Crespo Martínez. Here, teacher. And Yesenia Gabriela Aguilar Granadeño. She is a listener today, but... Um, así, ahí está. Ok. Uh, thank you. Well, uh, well, everybody, this is Friday, and I'll see you on Monday. Take care, and uh, have a nice weekend. Bye-bye. Have bye. a nice weekend. Bye-bye. Good night. Nice weekend, everyone. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye.